Empowerment Technologies Subject, Quarter 1, Module 2. The Applied Productivity Tools with Advanced Application Techniques. What this module is about. On this module, you will learn the techniques in using computer application, like hyperlinking and presentations, and adding formulas and spreadsheet application. In order to learn all of this, for every computer application introduced on this module, learner will be guided by step-by-step -step activities. These are the applications used on this module. Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel. What you need to know at the end of this module, you should be able to understand the different uses of productivity tools. Perform the following. Encoding. Apply mail merge. Add custom animation. Hyperlink. Insert images in work processor and use of advanced formulas in Microsoft Excel. But before we go further in our discussion, let's have some short assessment. Read and answer the questions. Select the letter of the best answer from among the given choices. Number one, what button allows you to see the result of your mail merge even before you print or send it out. Number two, the following are formulas that MS Excel can understand except. Number three, which of the following button do you select if you want to open a new document? Number four, this error value refers to a cell that contains zero value or blanks. Number five, which of the following arithmetic operators is used for exponentiation? Number six, which of the following software are commonly used for a presentation that contains animation? Number seven, which of the following errors will appear if Excel encounters invalid cell reference? Number eight, which of the following errors will appear if Excel encounters invalid cell has inappropriate value was given for the lookup value argument? Which of the following set of effects that can be found in PowerPoint application? And lastly, a function used to count the number of cells that contains something if the criteria are met. Our first topic is about developing ICT content for specific purposes. Productivity tools. It refers to the software that people use to create and produce documents, presentations, databases, charts, and graphs. Productivity tools helps you create professional quality documents, presentation, graphics, and more. Why should you learn productivity tools? Though there are a wide range of benefits of using productivity tools, the best reason is that it just makes essential. Every day we use computer to do different tasks for more efficient. The common productivity tools are as follows. Number one, Microsoft Word. Number two, Microsoft Excel. Number three, Microsoft PowerPoint and lastly the Libre Office. In this time, we have many options to use of a free and open source productivity suite, meaning these are free applications which matches and perhaps could even exceed the overall features, advantages, and benefits of their counterpart. Mail merge. It is a world's way of generating mass mailings. It involves combining a list of names and addresses to individually address to each person, receiver on the list. 
you can use mail merge to create envelopes or addresses labels, as well as form letters. Mail merge involves the following documents. Main document. This document contains text and graphics. Example, the body of the letters. Mailing list. This is your data source that is used to populate information in the letter. It contains names and addresses of the recipient. Merge document. This document, the combination of the main document. So ngayon, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano uh, gumamit ng mail merge. Unang-una, buksan natin ang ating prepared letter. And then, dito sa menu bar, click nyo ang mailings. Then, click start mail merge. Then, click step by step mail merge. Okay, click natin ulit. Ayan. So, use an existing list. So, ito kasi yung letter natin na ipapadala. Ang next na gagawin natin ay mag-add ng recipient. So, dito, click nyo lang ang edit recipient. Ayan. So, ito yung mga addresses na nakasave na sa ating document. So, kung gusto natin piliin lang yung mga tatanggap ng uh, letter natin, so, click lang natin yan. yan. Click lang natin. Okay, kung lahat naman, click mo lang lahat yan. So, kailangan nakacheck naka lahat yan. So, matapos mong gawin ang pag-check sa lahat ng mga recipient, click mo lang yung OK. So, next tayo, click nyo lang yung next, write your letter. Okay. So, dito, Bago tayo mag-add ng address, click natin sa taas kung saan natin i-position yung address ng mga recipient. So, most probably dito sa taas ng ating letter. So, balik tayo dito sa side sa mail merge tab. So, click lang natin yung address block. So, yan. So, makikita natin dito yung iba't ibang uh, format ng address. So, yan. Alimbawa si tulad nito. Yan. Iba-ibang format. So, kung nakapili na tayo ng format, click mo lang OK. So, next. Mag-add tayo ng greeting line. So, under the recipient address, click lang natin ito dito sa baba. Okay. Click natin yung greetings line. Yan. So, may mga format sa dyan. To, oh dear. Yan, pwede kang pumili dyan. And then, kung nakaselect ka na, so click mo lang yung OK. And then, after that, click mo yung Next Preview Your Letters. Yan. So, makikita mo na dito ngayon yung mga address ng recipient. So, pwede mo i-adjust dyan. So, kung gusto mong i-check yung mga recipient, click mo lang yan. Yan. So, nakikita nyo, nagbabago yung kanila address, uh, yung recipient and addresses. Yan. Si Rowell Denver, si Vicky Selman, at si Marlon Sali. Okay. So, after natin mag-add ng recipient or address, so, click lang natin uli ang next to complete the merge. So, yan. Already to print na siya. Yan. Pwede mong iselect kung ano lang yung page na gusto mong i-print. So, since lahat naman natin ito ay gusto i-print, click all na lang. And then, click OK. So, ganun lang kadali ang mail merge.